Lynn Tolley is up from Lynchburg and Miss Barry Mobos. We have two great ideas for things that will go really well with anything that you are barbecuing, grilling, or whatever you're doing this weekend. Tailgating. Tailgating. That'll be great. We're making pimento cheese deviled eggs and some pickled onions. They yeah. both sound really good. They're great. And we're going to start out, Meryl. This recipe is for six eggs. Okay. So I've got our yolks in the bowl. If you'll help me and just mash those up. Okay. Now, I use sharp cheddar cheese mm -hmm. to add more That's the white good cheddar. Flavor. This is the white cheddar, but any, you know, any kind of cheese. Pimento cheese that. deviled eggs sounds like such a great idea. Doesn't it? Yeah. A little mayonnaise. So for six eggs, you want a couple of tablespoons, but, you know, d decide what whatever you amount you like. This a little Dijon mustard, a couple of teaspoons of that. Now, an onion. And different ingredient is a clove of garlic. So I oh, yeah. grated it because you don't want any big hunks of garlic okay. in there. So you want so it to be really fine. Club, yeah. Now let's put our pimenta in there. And you've chopped that pretty fine as it, well. It is mm -hmm. chopped fine. And you know, a couple of tablespoons of that, just whatever you want. I think it's really nice. Now the trick to this, Meryl, after you get that stirred up, let's put a little pepper in there, is to put it in a uh, plastic bag. If you will sort of dump that in, I'll hold it open. Because this is going to make filling our egg whites so much easier. I've used this trick, too, and I, uh, it's, it makes it look kind of fancy, like a restaurant does. edit. And it's neater. Yeah. You don't get uh, filling all over your egg white. Of course, That's I'm getting some good. all over That's your okay. hand right no, now. No, Sorry no, about that. All right. And zip it up, and then just take, smash it down. We're going to take our scissors, just cut a big corner off. There we go. And then we're just going to pop it in the eggshells. And then I garnish this. See how easy that is? It's just like having one of those pastry bags, oh. except you just make it super easy. Exactly. And throw it away when you're through. Um, I garnished it with pimento, an extra little piece of pimento and some parsley, because you always want your deviled eggs to look appetizing. Mm -hmm. So oh, that is that looks it. super good. I always cook an extra egg or two just in case something doesn't turn out well. Exactly. You know, sometimes they, when you peel them, they don't look exactly. good. Exactly. Great idea. Now, that super is good. our deviled eggs. Okay. Now let's do our pickled onions. Okay. So I used one of those mandolins because I wanted my onions to be really mm -hmm. thin. So here's our thin onions. I took uh, a carrot, chopped it up. This is a jalapeno pepper. I used the middle of it too because I wanted it to be good and hot. This is a cup of white vinegar. We put in a teaspoon of salt. Now the recipe calls for, I'm just stirring it till it melts, okay. calls for pepper in it, but I think the pepper sort of discolors it. So okay. I don't always use the pepper. That's totally well, you up got, to you. you know, a little spice from the jalapeno already, exactly. so you probably don't need it. And uh, I just put a bell jar and layered it because I thought it was real pretty. And you can use this um, um, barbecue sandwiches. It's good to garnish a bowl of chili, mm -hmm. uh, roast beef sandwiches, anything. So how long does it take for it to pickle? Oh, an hour. Okay. You know, you can set it in the refrigerator, it'll stay for a week. But speaking of barbecue, I let's know. talk about the Jack Daniel barbecue cook off. You've got which a is big tomorrow. thing going on. Uh huh. Uh, we're expecting between 20 and 25,000. 100 teams are competing for 45,000 thousand dollars in prize money. Wow. We have a big domestic group of people, but a lot of international teams are coming to compete. Fine. Canada, Estonia, the Bahamas, Japan, Italy, Norway. How would they know how to make barbecue? I know, Norway. I bet they do. South <laughs> Africa, but y'all come. It should be a nice it's day. So Even much if fun. it's cloudy, it'll be great and love to have you. And Miss Mary Bubba's there's still a few places left oh, good. if you want to call for us. Lunch. All right, this is recipe number 5441, and it's online now in the News Channel 5 uh, section, in the Talk of Town section at newschannel5.com. You get both of these great recipes, and I think you're going to love them both. Lynn, thanks so much. Thank you.